One of the big topics that comes up with patients is this change in body shape. So weight gain and suddenly feeling like their trousers don't fit anymore. Everything feels tight. They don't seem to have just quite got that waist that they used to ha- have. What's going on there? So I think there's there's different processes probably going uh, on at that point. If, when your ovarian estrogen, your estradiol starts to decrease, one of the theories is that your body's desperately trying to make some estrogen from somewhere and the only place it can really do that is in your fat cells. So it can make estrone, which is a more inflammatory estrogen from your fat cells, from a something that's made in your adrenal glands. So that's one thing. The other thing is that that reducing level of estradiol means that you become a bit insulin resistant. So you're just not as metabolically efficient. So your insulin levels go up. And when your insulin levels go up, you tend to put down more fat cells. And the third thing, there's probably many more, but the third thing I think is quite critical is that we know when people are transitioning through their menopause years, they lose a lot of their diversity of their gut microbiome. And that probably really impacts how you metabolize food. So we know that just having a diverse microbiome really aids people to have a healthier body weight. And I would always say to people when they're worrying about their shape, you know, they're always like, well, I ate less. And I'm like, please don't eat less. Just think about eating more good stuff and think about moving more and just trying to introduce really small bits of movement in your day. Because we know the more muscle you have, the more testosterone you'll have, the more insulin sensitive you will be. And the better food you eat, the better your gut microbiome will be. And those are things that you can control. So I think... um, that body shaped thing is a really difficult thing, especially for women to to live with. But it's, I think, really focusing on building muscle and eating more, so much more than the old kind of rhetoric of dieting where you lose fat, but you also lose muscle and, you know, running, which and doing all this high intensity stuff, which just drives your cortisol up, which isn't good for you at all. So keeping it calm, being kind to yourself and, you know, and setting some realistic goals. Absolutely. And surely as well, if you're losing muscle, because we know that we lose muscle mass as well, then surely we've got a change in basal metabolic rate as well. So yeah, there's lots going on there. It's just, a, a, it's definitely one that comes up a lot to me in the consulting room. People are, are really upset about it and they feel quite self-conscious. They're saying, I'm not eating anything differently. I used to be able to, I know what I used to be able to do to control my weight and I just don't seem to be able to anymore. Um, anecdotally, do you feel like when you put people on hormones that that improves at all or that you see weight stabilizing? Yeah, absolutely. It can be slower for some than others. So if you're in perimenopause, it can be much easier to sort of get that balance again. If you've had a few years where you've not had hormones, it certainly can be slower because you're undoing quite a long period of time. But we know with bone density, for instance, that we'll see women building bone on hormone therapy so and we see their cholesterol markers going down but the weight can be a bit slower to follow suit so you unfortunately you do have to work hard and hormone therapy is not going to make you lose weight on its own absolutely have to do the weight training you have to increase the heaviness of your weights and I suppose even if you take it further it's not just about looking good but it really is so powerful in terms of um, building your bone density, building your muscle, future proofing your body for the next 10, 20, 30 years. And I think that's a message that we really need to get out to younger women. You know, don't wait until you're 50 or you're 45. You know, look at your diet and your exercise in your 30s. It's, as we all know, it's much harder to lose weight, lose, you know, lose a change in body shape than it is to gain it. So really trying to look early in our life that we move women into more strength training and away from these kind of high intensity cardio workouts and really looking at our diets in a more healthy way and um, I think it's yeah, something we we as GPs should really be advising people on way before you know the damage has sort of or at least taken hold. Yeah I think it's really interesting as well when people start to do strength training I just see people's confidence go up don't really know why, but they just feel really proud of themselves watching their their progress. And, and they remember that, you know, initially that two kilos was really hard for them. And now they're, you know, lifting much heavier weight and they just feel really 
strong and, and just have a slight invincibility about them that they'd lost before, which is so nice to see. Yeah, no, I love that. I've got some ladies in their late 70s, you know, who are on a combination of treatment and they're just lifting heavier and heavier weights. And I think we're really ageist as a society. And the, the things that I see my older women doing are, is just phenomenal. You know, they're, they are quite inspirational. I think you'll agree. We've had some incredible guests on the podcast already. And today's was no exception. I think there is so many nuggets of information I'd love to get out there. So if you know someone who would benefit from the podcast, please share it. That way more people can learn all about themselves. Remember, this podcast is all about you. This podcast and any information, advice, opinions or statements within it do not constitute medical, healthcare or other professional advice. Information is provided for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you have any health concerns, always consult your doctor. 